OpenAI announced GPT-40, which can process any combination of audio. Ooh, a bedtime story about robots and love? Video. Hello there, cutie. What's your name, little slough ball? Image and text. Look how smooth it can make interaction with computers. It can even respond to audio input with an average of 320 milliseconds, which is similar to human. Well, they have trained a single model. That means input and output are processed by a same neural network. Oh my god, it comes with GPT-4 level performance, but completely free. Now, let's talk about demos. Which a company puts more effort into than the actual product. <laughs> We first divide the assistant into three types. Cognitive assistance. This type of assistance involves AI helping users with computer or internet related tasks. I think, I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC. I was wondering if you could help me with a coding problem today. Of course, I'd love to help you out. What's the coding problem you're dealing with? Could you give me a really brief one sentence description of what's going on in the code? This code fetches daily weather data for a specific location and time period, smooths the temperature data using a rolling average, annotates a significant weather event on the resulting plot, and then displays the plot with the average, minimum, and maximum temperatures over the year. Social assistance. This type of assistance involves AI that helps users interact with other people, animals, and the physical environment. Right now. The royal standard flag is flying above Buckingham Palace, which is the signal that the monarch is present. Well, hello, Bowser. Aren't you just the most adorable little thing? Yeah. Look at you enjoy. This is one of his favorite things to do. Oh, well, I can see why. Look at that focus. Fetching balls is serious business for Bowser. Personal assistance. This includes AI interactions that are focused on directly assisting you. Open AI. Have you heard of them? Open AI? Huh? Sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> Kidding, of course. <laughs> That's incredible, Rocky. What kind of interview? Well, it's for a software engineering role, but I just need to know, do I look presentable, professional? Well, Rocky, you definitely have the I've been coding all night look down, which could actually work in your favor. Maybe just run a hand through your hair or lean into the mad genius vibe. Your well, enthusiasm is what's really going to shine through. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to throw this on. What do you think? <laughs> oh, Rocky, that's quite a statement piece. I, I mean, you, you'll definitely stand out, though maybe not in the way you're hoping for an interview. Okay, I got it, I got it. To further enhance its communication skills, OpenAI needs to bring features like adjusting its communication settings according to the user preference. Humor. 75%. Confirmed. Google too has announced Project Astra, which is something similar to GPT-40 like Assistant. But this video is about GPT-40, so Project Astra, we will get back to you soon. Did I tell you that GPT-40 is OpenAI's first natively fully multimodal model which weren't there in previous versions like GPT-3.5 and GPT-4. They used to process text, vision and audio separately, which makes GPT-40 to come with diverse capabilities like creating a visual narrative where you first generate a character and then generate the entire story with character consistency or uploading your own photos to create a movie poster maybe even you can design youtube thumbnails or performing tasks like 3d object synthesizing where you can generate any 3d logo or object Alright, everything went so smoothly without any open AI drama, whatever happened, I hope it was done safely. Only thing is we don't know where Ilya is or what he saw. If you have made it this far, go ahead and subscribe to channel. Oh boy, this is turning to science fiction day by day.